In this video, we'll look at the, use the calculator to do some simple calculations. We'll learn about the negative button versus the subtraction key. We'll learn how to use exponents and parentheses correctly on the calculator. First, we're going to do a simple subtraction problem involving fractions. I want to subtract negative one-half, subtract three-fifths. In order to do this, I first notice that I have a negative in front of the one-half. On your calculator, the negative is found underneath your three button whereas the subtraction sign is found on the operation symbols on the right side. There's a division symbol, multiplication symbol, and there is the subtraction sign. Please make note of the difference between the negative button and the subtraction button. In order to do negative one-half subtract three-fifths, I first just type it exactly as I see it. Negative one divided by two subtract three divided by five. Press enter. The calculator gives me a decimal answer of negative 1.1. In order to convert from a decimal to a fraction, we use the math button on the calculator. The math button is found underneath your alpha button on the left side. So I select math. My cursor is already selected option 1, which is convert to fraction. So I hit the number 1 which is convert to fraction. You notice the calculator automatically wants to convert the answer you have, which is that negative 1.1. It wants to take that answer and convert it to a fraction. And that's what I want to do, so I press enter to let the calculator to do it. And it says that the answer is negative 11 tenths. So the decimal negative 1.1 is the fraction negative 11 tenths. Sometimes in math class we ask for a fractional answer and sometimes it's okay to have the decimal answer. It's good to be able to go back and forth on the calculator. So again, what I did is I hit math and I select option 1 by pressing enter and then select enter again to have it actually convert. Math, enter, enter. Math, enter, enter. That is the process of converting decimals to fractions. Let's try that again. If I want to convert 0.5 to a fraction, in the calculator I can hit 0.5, math, enter, enter, and it gives me 1 half. If I want to convert 0.1 to a fraction, I hit 0.1, math, enter, enter. This is also helpful for simplifying fractions. The fraction 5 tenths, we know that's the fraction 1 half. I can divide it out in the calculator. 5 divided by 10. Math, enter, enter. And it simplifies it and gives me the simplified fraction as 1 half. Again, math, enter, enter. That is the button pressing you need to do in order to convert your decimals to fractions and in order to simplify your fractions. All right. In the calculator, we do need to be careful to use parentheses correctly. In this problem, I'm going to divide the fraction 2 thirds divided by the fraction negative 5 thirteenths. Notice, this is saying divide the entire fraction 2 thirds by the entire fraction, negative 5 thirteenths. All of this number divided by all of this number. Do not just enter it straight. 2 divided by 3 divided by negative 5 divided by 13. Notice this will work left to right. It will take 2 divided by 3, and then it will take that fractional answer and divide it by negative 5. And then it will divide all that by 13, but that's not what we want to do. We want to take this number here, 2 thirds, divided by this entire fraction here. So it's important for you to actually add parentheses around your fractions. It's a great habit to get in to add parentheses around fractions so that you never have any order of operations mistakes. So in the calculator, I use the parentheses, which are right above your 8 and 9 button. I press parentheses, 2 divided by 3 parentheses. There's the fraction 2 thirds. And I divide that by 
the fraction in parentheses, negative 5 divided by 13. So I've placed the negative 5 thirteenths in parentheses, I've placed the 2 thirds in parentheses, I've used a negative button, not the subtraction sign, and I press enter. Now, it's giving me a decimal approximation of negative 1.733333333. If I want to convert that to a fraction, I hit math, enter, enter. And it says it's the fraction negative 26 fifteenths. And there's the answer. An extremely common error that students in algebra classes make is not recognizing the difference between this expression, negative 6 squared, versus this expression, the quantity negative 6 being squared. Notice, in the first expression, only the 6 is being squared. The negative is not being squared. In the second expression, it is the entire quantity negative 6 times itself. So this expression here means negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. Whereas this first expression means negative 6 times 6, which is negative 36. So notice these two expressions give different answers. So it is important to take note of entering these in the calculator correctly. Again, negative 6 squared versus parentheses negative 6 quantity squared. This will be very important as we start to evaluate expressions and evaluate functions and evaluate equations. Using exponents in the calculator, you may have noticed that there is a squared button above the log button. But what about higher degree exponents? In this case, we use the caret key. We do 6 raised to the third. I use the caret button, which is above your division symbol. 6 raised to the third divided by 2 times negative 4. So on the calculator, 6 raised to the third divided by 2 times negative 4. Again, negative, not subtraction. And I get negative 432. And again, it's important for you to recognize when you have an expression that has one expression in the numerator and another expression in the denominator that you're dividing all of this numerator divided by all of this denominator. Do not simply enter this in the calculator without parentheses. Do not enter 7 squared minus 18 times 4 divided by negative 3 minus 5 to the fourth plus 7. Notice this expression is only dividing 4 divided by negative 3. It's not dividing all of the numerator by all of the denominator, so we don't want to do this. Instead, I want to take the entire numerator in parentheses divided by the entire denominator in parentheses. So I want to wrap parentheses around the numerator and wrap parentheses around the denominator. I'm careful to use a negative in front of the 3 and I'm using subtraction in front of the 5 raised to the 4th. Again, the calculator will give me the decimal approximation of the answer, but if I want the exact answer, I press math, enter, enter, and it says that this is 1 27th, and there's my answer.